I don't get this. Could you please make this make sense? It makes no sense at all. You're saying that I'm non-black. Yet Cynthia G and Paris Milan are black. Okay. Yeah. That really doesn't make any sense, sweetie. You see how Paris Milan looks? You mean to tell me that this is a dark-skinned black person? Really? Look at her. Okay, and I am not black at all. Yeah, really. Not black at all. My skin looks darker than hers. <laughs> and you mean to tell me that... I'm not black. She is a dark-skinned black woman. And Cynthia G is a dark-skinned black woman. Yet you know you're not making any sense. You just thought if you lie and just make up stuff that you could just run with it and people would just believe you, I guess. But I mean, Paris Milan looks like a mixed-race woman, okay? She literally, if we weren't, we didn't know who she was, they would talk about her being the preference. They'd be talking about her being mixed race, at least in phenotype, mixed passing. I mean, yeah. And some people try to say that she's a mixed fisher. She isn't a mixed fisher, I don't think. I think she's just naturally lighter, basically. And I have her face analyzed as well. So you can tell we have similar complexions. It's really weird why people mm -hmm. act like I would be non-black, she would be a black woman. We're literally like maybe two shades apart. Mm -hmm. In some photos, as you can see, she actually looks lighter than me. And in some photos, I do look lighter than her, like in this one, as opposed to the previous photo. But the point is... We're, we're basically around the same complexion. You had the nerve to try and say she was dark-skinned. You're so delusional. It's so sad and crazy, honestly. And then you had the nerve to say I wasn't a black woman. You even tried to associate me with whiteness like a weird freak that you are. You're a fucking blind weirdo. Seriously. I don't understand what's wrong with you. Just because someone creates content that you like or you feel partial to, they become black all of a sudden. Because someone talks a certain way. Because someone likes black men. Because of whatever else. You are stupid as fuck, okay? You can't even use your own eyes to determine that two black women of the same complexion, of the same phenotype, are of the same race and of the same complexion. You are a dumb motherfucker. I'm sorry, but that's just what you are. And then Cynthia G on top of it. You meant to tell me that Cynthia G was dark-skinned. Yeah, this is a dark-skinned black woman. I'm going to show you what some dark-skinned black women look like that are unambiguous in the back. They are way, they're very beautiful. Very beautiful. Much more beautiful than these women. You know, much more beautiful than I am. But they look nothing like this woman, okay? Nothing. You know what her race is when I analyze her? It is nowhere near African. She has no African associated with her phenotype when you analyze her face. Some people have even told me she looks less black than I do. And I don't know. Honestly, if you look at my pictures being analyzed, you could see there's African there. Yes, there are other things as well that it says my phenotype looks like, but there is African, you know. I have two pictures that show African, I think, or it might be three actually. Either way, Brazilian stands in for African as well, but you can see... Um, it does show some African um, influence. It shows about 35 in one photo. Another one was 8% African. And another one, um, I think it was 40% African. So I run kind of the gamut there. Some photos would say no African, like here. 
It just says Portuguese, Spanish, Swiss, and French. And in some other photos, I think there's another photo that is like this, where it doesn't show any African. But if you think of it, I showed you five photos, and of those five photos, three of the photos showed African. The other two photos showed non-African. And that's without makeup. Um, oh yeah, there's a sixth photo that I showed that didn't show African either. But as you get my point, you know, some do, some don't. Cynthia G, I show you photos of her as well. Um, she always has no speak of. She, I guess you could say, looks less African than I do. I guess. I don't know if that's really true or if it's really just makeup. Because honestly, when I wear makeup... Oh yeah, and you'll see a few photos of me with makeup on without any African. But um, yeah, you'll see sometimes without... Like, with makeup, I can have no African whatsoever. Um, here's Paris Milan. See? Hers hers is around my percentage. Mine was 40%. Hers is 58%. She ranges around the 50% range. The girl looks mixed, sweetie, okay? You are just delusional, okay? You don't even know your own fucking features. You think that when you see a biracial person, if you see someone who looks mixed, if you see a brown-skinned black woman, that you are looking at yourself. That is delusion there. And you tell yourself this because you don't want to admit how dark you are, okay? A lot of dark-skinned black people like to take the identity of brown-skinned people as they will, basically, because they don't want to think of themselves in their dark-skinned beauty basically and this is why i'm going to show beautiful dark-skinned black women at the end of this video because that's the true and beautiful dark-skinned black woman's phenotype not a knockoff like her not a knockoff like cynthia g not a knockoff like myself actually true beautiful dark-skinned black women you know, and I mean, being true and honest about this situation is only conducive to the situation. If we're lying about the situation, we get situations where basically people like Pop by Cherry will talk about how black men will disparage you in favor of lighter brown skinned black women. It is what it is, you know, that's what happens. And just because they are self-hating, that's not a benefit. It's not a benefit that dark-skinned black men who hate themselves will disparage dark-skinned black women in favor of women who aren't dark-skinned. But my point in saying that these women weren't dark-skinned was to show you that these women will pull the wool over your eyes and try to make you pay attention to some light, bright, biracial so then they that you can't pay attention to the fact of what they're trying to do to you basically that they hold on to black men because they feel like they can still dwell on some kind of pedestal you don't even recognize because you're too busy focused on biracials but in reality like i said they still entertain dark-skinned, self-hating black men because they have such low self-esteem and they're desperate for any kind of validation. So, yes, as far as I was saying, as you can see, these people are the same complexion as me. I don't know what the fuck you were thinking by saying that I was non-black and they were black with the same color, with the same phenotype, probably racially the same. Especially Paris Milan. For some reason, I've always thought Paris Milan probably has a high percentage of Nigerian descent, of which I have myself. Genetically, I am 46% Nigerian descent. So, obviously, I'm a black woman. I probably have more African ancestry than they do.
as most black Americans can't compete with how much African I have, as far as my estimate goes, at least. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'm gonna be done. Alright, bye, guys.